driving itself. It's not about getting to the destinations. It's also about getting in the car and driving out your driveway. Enjoy what you can of it, whether it's as a driver or a passenger. My advice definitely is just get out there and enjoy it and and figure out what it is you love doing. I, I think it would be that when you get in a car in a different country, just take it slow. I would love to give a job tip that's related to driving. UPS, every Thanksgiving-ish, every like Christmas season, hires seasonal helpers. That is a really cool job. Just be considerate. Let others go first. Don't cut others out. Just be polite, be kind. And I think driving would be even more pleasant. Driving is like walking uh, when you've done it so much and you don't even think about what it is that you're doing. That's when it becomes um, dangerous. I remember my my drivers, I was in high school at the time or gymnasium as we call it, and, and she would uh, drive me to school and say congratulations and, and remember that you still have a lot to learn. So don't think that you're a world champion now. You, you got your driver's license and you can go driving alone but don't think that you're a champion and uh, you still have a lot to learn. If you're someone like me who knows it's not their favorite thing to do to be the driver, then you can enjoy being the passenger too. But it's, it is an enjoyable experience to be able to, like we're, we're lucky that we have cars and we can get around places and see things, especially in the US that are really not accessible a lot of other ways. So it's, it's really certainly convenient. And then on the flip side of that, I also really believe in getting around on my two feet and bicycling and stuff. So you can get the best of both worlds. Use a car where it's, where it has its strengths and then there's other alternative means of transportation too. And, and as much as I love driving, I just use it as a way to get to beautiful places. So I can go hiking and camping and fishing and whatever it is in the outdoors. So for me, it, it's like, go out there and have fun, get outside, use your vehicle, get somewhere beautiful, and then put up a camp chair and read a book in the sunshine, whatever that, whatever that happiness looks like for you. Don't, don't try to rush anything. Just take it slow and try to be, be very nice to the other drivers. And, but at the same time, don't be too slow. Try to follow the traffic, but be careful and be aware that people might not be as good a driver as you. There might be in some countries more drunk drivers on the road that, than there are in your country. And some of them might have just won the lottery in Nicaragua with a driver's license and may not be super skilled. So be aware of that, but take it slow and don't be in a rush and also don't be scared. I would love to give a job tip that's related to driving. UPS, every Thanksgiving-ish, every like Christmas season, hires seasonal helpers. And it's a part-time job for like six weeks. And I've done it twice. And I did it in Petaluma. And then the route that we went on uh, was through all the vineyards in Sonoma. And so my point is, if there are people out there listening that just love driving and seeing, seeing the road in a different way, that is a really cool job. And you get paid pretty well too. So I wanted to shout out that job opportunity for the drivers listening. The road is there for all of us to use. And I think if we consider it to each other as drivers and we're not that it's my bit of road, get out of in front of me. And we have that aggression in us. We cause more upsets for ourselves and for others. So I think the more considerate we can be, the more, I'm not saying you, we have to go slow, slow, slow. I should just be considerate. Let others go first. Don't cut others out. Just be polite, be kind. And I think driving would be even more pleasant because road rage is not nice for anyone, not for the person who give it. They might feel good in the moment, but certainly not afterwards and certainly not for the people on the receiving side or those who, who observe it around them. Mm -hmm.